Hey guys, what I have here is a special request. So what I'm going to be doing is showcasing this special version of Windows 95, but it's an unofficial version of Windows 95. If you are wondering, which I'm going to explain more. And plus, I'm not going to really keep the virtual machine that long. The only time I may still keep it for a little while is for to do to finish doing a series of requested videos of showcasing the Windows 95 resource kit even though I'm going to do the Windows 98 resource kit video next but then I got to do one for Windows 3.0, Windows 3.1, Windows NT 3.51 which I'm going to probably have to use a different emulator probably get the old Windows 7 computer out so I got my VM ready to go so let's go ahead and power up my VM as you may notice it does use the Windows 95 RTM OSR 1 boot screen and you may know yeah, this background is going to give you a clue of the purpose of this special version of Windows 95 Windows 95 D Lite is an unofficial version of Windows 95 that goes by OSR 2.6. The purpose of this is to shred, get, to kind of get shred the, the uh, shred um the Internet Explorer integrations out of the, out of your system or do away with a lot of some of the bloatware that came with the later revisions of Windows 95. And this is supposed to be like a remaster of Windows 95 that includes additional drivers and some improved bug fixes, which giving a big shout out to the Razorback team. So let's go ahead and log on in. But it's basically still got the same OEM configuration of Windows so basically the same setup as Windows 95 RTM and we even get some new tips in the welcome to Windows 95 lock welcome screen so gives you lots of useful information you get the point and you could do Windows desktop update which they have the IE 5.5 installer on the on the inst on installation disk of Windows 95 D Lite. So if you want to do Windows desktop update, of course, it doesn't really include a lot of software extras like this little tip. <laughs> So it's basically a modified version of Windows 95 with some improvements. But of course, they added the L, some of the stuff from the Plus for Windows 95 pack, like the Plus tab to allow you to have visual effects, of course. And the build number on this is very unique. Instead of for you which because it's because it's big basically it says 4.00.9950d even though the highest version of Internet Explorer we all know for Windows 95 is version 5.5 even though this one's got service pack 2 but media player 7 will install just fine 
unless if you install. you can install 7.1 you just got to modify the installer let me show you some basic programs that work just fine this is works 2000 And of course, Microsoft Office installed just fine. And this is the perfect, and then I got the professional version of Office 2000. And what they added into the in the remasters. They included Space Cadet Pinball. But I had to do some basic modding in VMware to get this to work properly. So yes, yeah, so of course MIDI files slightly work in this VM. As you see, MIDI files slightly work, but it's basically with the sound driver that VMware uses. And yes, you may hear a little buzzing in the background because of the MIDI the way how VMware handles the MIDI drivers in Windows 95 unless if you mo do some kind of modification where you can use the Sound Blaster 16 and you get WAV files do work perfectly fine And they also included desktop themes from the Plus for Windows 95 pack and the Plus for Kids. And some new custom ones. Even though I borrowed the background from the... So let's see, you got all your themes from... And you get some custom new ones that... You get the point. Oops, forgot to show the one of the new one of the custom ones. Hold up. There we go. We're just gonna scam through them just to so so, so y'all guys can Take a good look at some of the new, some of the custom ones that were included. And even though they included some of the themes from the, well, the themes from the Windows NT 4.0 resource kit, when they included all the plus for kids.
So basically, the startup sound, they, they use the Windows NT4 startup sound. And for the shutdown, they basically use the early Windows 2000 Beta 3 startup, which is most commonly used in builds 1946 through 19. 69, I believe, till 1978 until the startup sound was changed in build 1983. And that's the uh, early Windows 2000 Beta 3 startup, if you don't know where that sound came from. It's basically a sped up, shortened version of the Windows NT 5.0 Beta 1, Beta 2 startup. Because we all know the shutdown for Windows NT 5.0 Beta 1 and Beta 2 is basically the NT 4 shutdown. And you even get Tweak UI that comes with Windows 95 D-Lite. And even included the um, mouse software from the Microsoft IntelliPoint pack software. Because you get some of the cursors from the IntelliPoint software. I even installed the alternative mouse pointers from the to go along with it. But if you install the Windows desktop update, you can basically get the family log on. But yeah, there ain't really much to show. But there's other videos also on YouTube that showcase like how how well it handles on games. But I don't really have hardly no games installed. Plus, it'd have been too long of a video, so it's pretty pretty fast and stable. But I'll play with it some more in another video when we do the resource kit video so with that being said let me go ahead and end this video and thanks thank you guys for watching and i hope you enjoy it